Hello Leo! So this is the reading that I got for you guys for the month of June and I'm so so sorry for the delays of videos. In late June I will be uploading a lot of videos so um so I'm so sorry for kind of been in my aim. Um but I got the temperance in reverse. Also got the three of pentacles, um, the strength card, okay? The Page of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So what I'm seeing is that a lot of you guys are um, either in a relationship, okay? Or you guys have met someone that you feel like you should be in a relationship with. I just feel like a lot of you guys are just at a period where you are focusing on yourself, okay, first. And a lot of you guys are kind of wondering whether or not should you be in a relationship again okay because i feel like a lot of you guys have finished a relation i mean close a cycle with someone else um some of you guys was married okay to this person and probably the divorce is finalized in the month of june or will be finalized in your leo season okay um but i feel like a lot of you guys are kind of like wondering whether or not should you be in a relationship again okay but some of you guys are in a relationship and you feel like the bond is deepening the love is deepening more okay um now i do get the ace of pentacles so i feel like the month of june if you are in a connection already um the relationship is going to get deeper it's probably going to go to the next level as well um and that could be with anything. So probably you never met his family or her family. I mean, your partner family. Or another way this can go is basically probably you guys were um, exclusively dating, but there was no title. I've seen the month of June. There is going to be some form of title. Okay. Now with the Queen of Pentacles in the verse and Temperance in the verse, I feel like this is you. Okay. This is you because... I feel like you guys are enjoying yourself, okay? Enjoying how far you come, okay? Especially if you were in a relationship that was just not good for you. Um, you see how far you come, and you don't want to completely risk it all. Um, put your heart on the line, you know, when you know when you've been hurt before. You don't want to experience that over again. So some of you guys see this opportunity. But at the same time, you guys want to regain the independence, okay? Still be independent at the same time, okay? Um, now, the signs that you might be dealing with, I got a lot of Earth. So, it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It could be a Sagittarius, Gemini, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Or another Leo. Um, now, for the Renaissance Angels, I got let go of control issues, playfulness very soon. And chemistry okay so with let go of control issues I feel like this is just the card trying to mention like opening up okay open up to the potential of love or the possibility of love um, not holding yourself back because of the pain and sometimes that's when you become your worst enemy because you're holding on to baggage you're holding on to pain you got to know when to let go learn from it see how you can flip that situation into a positive you know see how you can actually gain something from that lesson but don't hold the baggage don't hold the pain okay and with playfulness very soon i feel like again a lot of you guys are gonna be in your leo energy you're gonna you guys are gonna really be back into your playfulness leo like, is a very flirty sign they kind of like gemini or libra so i feel like a lot of you guys are gonna go out more um, you guys are just going to be more positive, okay? Now, with camera scene, this is going to pertain to the Leos who are, who have already been in a relationship. Um, I feel like, again, the bond is deepening, okay? The love is getting deeper and deeper. Um, now, when I clarify let go of control issues, I got the three of cups in reverse, the nine pentacles, and the four swords. So, like I was mentioning, some of you guys are kind of like iffy of whether or not you want to be in a relationship because you are happy the way, are you happy how far along you came from, okay? And you don't want to lose yourself again, okay? You don't. 
and you're you're okay of the connection but at the same time i feel like you don't want to lose your autonomy you don't want to lose yourself again now with playfulness i got the king of cups in reverse eight of cups and the judgment in reverse so again the cards are trying to say let go of that victim mentality let go of that pain let go of that hurt open yourself to the possibility of love and love the love energy is gonna be surrounded you okay it's not going to feel like nobody's approaching you because again you're open okay now when you're not open you feel like nobody's approaching you you feel like there's a dry season but if you're open to the possibility of love love is going to present itself okay now when i clarify very soon i got the five pentacles and the high priestess in the verse so this is going to pertain to the leos who have um who's in a connection right now i feel like you are going to start lowering your guards and you're going to open up to your partner you're going to be more emotionally available okay with the high priestess in the verse and the five pentacles in the verse um now when i clarify those two cards i have the queen of cups in reverse the sun and the nine swords okay so the queen of cups in reverse is just trying to show you how you probably were not so emotionally available to them but it's showing like if you start opening up okay you making the bond become more real you making the bond become more stable okay more rooted and it's gonna bring you happiness okay because you realize that that pain that hurt that you went through it, 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 it shouldn't control you okay and i feel like that's you're gonna realize you're getting your autonomy back by enjoying life again okay by you falling in love again okay that's i that's what i'm saying i'm saying like you guys are having an epiphany moment and realize once you let go of the this hurt this past pain you don't trust nobody this is when you are regaining your independence okay this is when you say you know what i live for me and i want what's best for me okay which is love you're not gonna be scared of love okay and that's what i'm seeing like you are refounding yourself through love okay with the sun and the nine of swords in reverse now when i clarify chemistry i got the devil the world the seven of cups okay um the knight of wands and two of swords okay like again a lot of you guys are scared i feel like this like some of you guys are scared and afraid of opening up okay um but i feel like the cards are trying to say open up it doesn't mean that you necessarily need to completely let your guards down it just mean open up slowly but surely okay that's what i'm saying because i feel like it's fears that's kind of holding back of you experiencing movement okay in your love life now when i clarify the three of pentacles and the strength card i got the ace of wands so yeah a lot of you guys have a new relationship a new man a new guy you have somebody new okay and i got the lovers in the verse and i got the hermits okay so some of you guys probably did choose this person um some of you guys probably was dealing with two or three people whatever and you're narrowing down your choice to choose this person um because you feel like this is the most fitted person for you you thought logically you're not only going off of less okay sexual chemistry you're not only going off of that but you're going off of logic okay you're also going off of loyalty okay seeing if this person was consistent with you since the beginning now again you i feel like a lot of you guys are going to pick the person who have similar traits as you someone who's loyal someone who is a provider someone who is emotionally available at at the same time too now this person could be another fire sign so another aries a leo sagittarius it could be a virgo it could be a gemini okay now when i clarify the page of wands i got i got the will of fortune in reverse i also got the ten of cups in reverse and the nine of cups in reverse and the knight of pentacles in reverse so this is going to pertain to the leos um who got a divorce okay um 
I feel like a lot of you guys, um, your partner, your ex-husband, whatever, your ex-wife, they're probably going to finally still the deal with you. And they are probably going to fin finalize the divorce, okay? So I'm seeing like you completely being free, okay? Completely being free from a past energy. And I feel like this person is going to work towards that too. They're not going to try to... They're not going to try to, like, hold you, you know, trying to be manipulative and play mind games with you. I feel like they're actually going to agree with your decision to move on. I feel like they are going to finalize the separation, the divorce, and stuff like that. Now, when I want to clarify the Four of Wands. I got the Ten of Wands in the verse, the King of Pentacles in the verse, the Six of Wands, the Queen of Swords in reverse the nine of cups and the seven of wands yeah so yeah i'm seeing you guys especially if you guys are married okay or engaged whatever i feel like you are completely done with that past person this past person is gonna let go of this connection i don't feel like they are gonna try to keep you and bind you no i feel like they are letting go you feeling happy you feeling free okay and you feeling like now you can open up to love, okay? Or some of you guys have someone else, okay, while this this was um, proceeding. And now you feel like you can be in a relationship or you can be um, engaged or married to this person now that your marriage is over and now it's finalized, it's divorce, okay? Now, when I clarify the Ace of Pentacles... I got the King of Wands in reverse. I got the Tower. I got the Death. And I got the Two of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, like I was saying, I feel like the past person that you was dealing with, they're letting the connection go completely. They're not trying to be with the mind games anymore. Okay? I feel like they finally mature enough to say, you know what? I was not the best person for you. I'm going to let the situation go. Okay? And that's what I'm seeing. So when I clarified the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I also got the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, and the Four of Cups in reverse. So yeah, I'm seeing you <laughs> feeling free, okay? Um, again, I feel like this past person who was, you know, horrible, they're completely letting go. They're not going to try to be with the mind games and try to see if they can make you still stay and be stuck to them. I feel like they are letting you go. I feel like the karmic chain has been broken, okay if it was a karmic connection um but i'm seeing you you know starting something new with someone else a lot of you guys are afraid of this okay being fearful but i feel like the cards are trying to say is be open to love okay be open not naive but be open to love Now, when I clarify the temperance in reverse, I also got the seven of pentacles in reverse, the eight of wands. I got the magician in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse. Um, yeah, so I feel like the month of June is going to be a very positive month for you pertaining to your love life because I feel like a cycle has is completely over, okay? Um, even though... With the Tempest and Verse, you're not 100% sure that you should move forward with someone new. Again, some of you guys are going to, you know, take the opportunity. Take that Ace of Pentacles. Okay? But at the same time, the cards are trying to say is don't hold on to baggage. Don't hold on to pain. Don't put this baggage onto the new person as well. Okay? But it's a very positive reading. And that's what I got for you guys. And again, thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenforthetarot at gmail.com.